Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new Citroen emulator android version 0.6 canary build which was released just yesterday now this has to be the biggest improvement we have ever seen in terms of Nintendo Switch emulation in general because finally in the Citroen emulator multiplayer functionality has been added along with focus on android optimization memory management this update substantially improves stability and performance while addressing key issues from the previous versions of Citroen emulator you'll be able to see major features like the android optimization memory management multiplayer functions initial implementation which has been added which even supports on android in development so this is the biggest thing which i have ever seen so far because we have seen lot of nintendo switch emulators but none of them added multiplayer functionality on android devices along with that we have build system improvements graphics and rendering shader compilation improvements and much more in android specific enhancement you will be able to see added anti to improved support for adreno gpu android devices added tlb implementation optimized memory memory usage now i have already added this brand new version of citron emulator on my android device in today's video we'll be setting it up i'll be showing you guys the best settings as well as gameplay so let's get started with our today's video now in this update you will also need to import your firmware and everything else like we do with any nintendo switch emulator once we are done setting up simply tap on the continue button and here we go citron emulator has been successfully added now we'll go to settings because the first thing which i want to see is the multiplayer feature that has been added right here host your own game room or join an existing one to play with people so let's tap on this button afterwards i think we can only create this wirelessly it works with the people that are around you using wi-fi connection i believe you can play games with your friends using the multiplayer feature that's actually an useful improvement in terms of applet launcher we still don't get q launch feature for some reason i would be very happy if we could get q launch as well so we can run nintendo switch menu inside this simulator nonetheless we'll just go ahead and go to advanced settings here in system disable the limit speed percentage after setting it to 400 use auto stub is still present so there is no new setting i guess in terms of graphics accuracy level is normal resolution scaling will set it to 0.75x vsync mode will set it as mailbox scroll down aspect ratio as just to window this shader catch as well as force maximum clocks should be enabled along with use asynchronous shaders once that has been done in debug no new option has been added so i am guessing that the changes are internal we also get gpu driver manager if you have a snapdragon processor android device make sure to use the latest meza turnip adreno driver i have already talked about it multiple times on my channel other than that let's just go ahead and take a look at themes there are only two themes so yeah whatever it is we'll accept it let's start testing out games right away we'll be trying out pokemon sword in today's video because this is actually one of those games that i really enjoy playing on my switch and especially now that multiplayer support has been added games like mario kart etc might be super fun to play i don't know how well will it actually work but as far as i know it should work pretty well and as we have disabled limit speed percentage you'll be able to see at the top left corner we are getting around 130 fps whereas if you enable limit speed percentage then you won't get above 120 fps the device which i am using in today's video is my realme gt7 pro with a snapdragon 8 processor so obviously this device is a no slouch but you get lot of graphical issues while emulating switch games on this android device specifically because it really does not have any meza turnip adreno drivers for now so unfortunately you are stuck with graphical issues anyways here we go our game has successfully started just take a look at how fast everything is being rendered i can definitely say this for sure it is better than new shoe emulator now like there isn't even any comparison because <laughs> It's just compiling shaders super fast on my Snapdragon 8 Elite device whereas previously it used to take some amount of time I can definitely notice the improvement it means that even on low end devices you will see an significant improvement in terms of performance as the developer has also implemented anti to benchmark build I guess now you will be able to utilize the full potential of your Android device as well towards the top right side of your screen you will be able to see thermal bar has been added for uh, showcasing temperature of your Android device in Fahrenheit as well as Celsius So 37 degrees Celsius not bad at all but I do recommend you guys to use a cooler if you are planning to emulate games for longer durations of time nonetheless here's the most important thing which I want to see how well does this game work in outside world areas at the top left corner you will be able to see we are still getting pretty amazing fps but on low end android devices I'll be testing out this emulator pretty soon I haven't tested out Citron emulators newer versions on a low end android device so if you want me to test it out let me know in the comment section down below I'll try my best to film and upload that video 
video because nowadays there are just so many brand new emulator updates and it's just going crazy the ps3 emulation scene even the wii u emulation scene so yeah citron emulator definitely great improvements in terms of adding new features that might actually be useful to the users anyways if you just go ahead and swipe back you'll also see the multiplayer option right here once again you can either create a room or join a room so i think that's pretty good so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye and peace out